So welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to talk about this article from Light Reading. And I'll leave it in the description down below so you guys could check it out. So if, if T-Mobile is going to throw jabs at AT&T's first net, then T-Mobile is going to have to take the haymakers that are going to come from me. Because, you know, why? I, I get it, I understand. T-Mobile wants to remain relevant. They want to compete. They want to, they want to be in the media's you know, the, the media darlings, they want to be, they want to get the attention. I get it. I understand. But in this case, why are you talking about first net promises that they have not fulfilled, right? T-Mobile has commitments of their own that they have to get, you know, that they have to achieve, right? These FCC commitments from the merger, some of those come due April of 2023. Let's see if T-Mobile can, can make those commitments happen and achieve them right let's first see that before they start running their mouth about somebody else let's see that first right and then the the additional haymakers that i'm going to throw is t-mobile you're not on par why are you talking about another network or another company for that matter that has been serving first responders for quite some time now that's that has funding backed by the government and they're expanding and specifically building a network core in accordance with you know what what properly needs to be done on the first responder side now i'm not saying that t-mobile is not doing that at all they are they they are just not on par to be saying this stuff there is still a high percentage of sites for t-mobile that don't have backup generators or backup batteries you gotta have you gotta have that at the same percentile as your competitors for you to talk like this. Right? And my thing is too, why talk at all? Why not just build a network, get it on par, right? And we haven't even gotten into the coverage topic yet. Get that on par, let the network speak for speak for itself and compete that way. You're offering the service for free for first responders for like 10 years for agencies. If the network is there, they'll come. It's free. But yet, T-Mobile still lags behind on overall coverage. But yet, they want to they wanna talk about FirstNet not fulfilling all of their promises. First, fulfill your promises with the FCC next year. I want to see that. Right. And then and then every commitment thereafter, I want to see you fulfill that, too. I want to see you fulfill the commitments you made to California. I want to see you fulfill the commitments that you made to New York. Oh, and by the way, what happened to we're going to be job positive day one that 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 commitment just went out the window. So this is. This was unnecessary. This shouldn't have been even a thing. T-Mobile should have just kept their mouth shut, should have just kept their heads down and continue building and investing in the network. So again, this, this is completely unnecessary in my opinion. Let them do what they need to do and you take care of what you need to take care of. You know, oftentimes people can't get their stuff in order because they're always in somebody else's business, right? So just, just keep that in mind. Again, like I said, T-Mobile is building. They are growing the network. We are seeing it. But they are nowhere near on par with Verizon and AT&T when it comes to, to this type of discussion. So just wanted to share my thoughts on that. You know, T-Mobile should have just kept quiet, should have just went about their day and let the network speak for itself. But T-Mobile being who they are, they just can't do it. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel, like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.